Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is Sunday, December 5th. It is the fifth day of Vlogmas, the fifth day of filming, and it is late afternoon. I um, pulled a decaffeinated coffee out of my Nespresso advent calendar. And it tastes really good. <laughs> That's delicious, actually. I hope everybody is cozy and relaxed and settling in to spend a little time with me today. Just to share some information about what's happening around here, um, we are kind of all bracing for a winter storm. We are currently under a winter storm watch. That's pretty common for Northern Ontario, but um, regardless, we still need to be cautious. So I did ask my daughter to be home by a certain time today so that she would not be stuck on the roads if it did start to snow heavily. So let's jump in right away. Oh, I forgot to mention. You probably, if you've been watching the Vlogmas episodes, you probably saw yesterday that Miss Molly went to the groomers. She got quite a shave down. Uh, we do have a little chili dog winter coat that she can wear in the winter, um, but she can't have uh, really long fur because it does get very matted and uncomfortable for her and also um, her hair grows and covers her eyes makes it difficult to see so she went for her grooming yesterday and she's always a really happy puppy when she comes home from the groomers she always seems so much more energetic she seems a lot happier So let's get started with the advent calendars. Today is day five, an odd day. So I um, am going to actually start with my Rose Hill yarn advent calendar. And even though I'm on day five, it shows day three because it's a 12 day advent. So this color is called Candy Cane Red. It's a very, very dark, rich, pinky red that I hope is really picking up on camera. And one thing that I do find with, um, I'm sorry, I forget, I forget the lady's name who dies at Rose Hill Yarns, but she is excellent at getting extremely rich, vibrant colors. So. If you go on her uh, shop, if you go to her shop and look, for example, at her red, her strawberry red is extremely rich colored and just beautiful. Anyways, this is lovely. I'll show it with the two. So these are the three that I've received. Oh, I'll put them all like this. These are the three that I've received so far. They just look so pretty together gorgeous okay and then I actually there's two um there are two that are larger size packages and I got really excited when I looked at this today because today's the fifth and I saw day five and I thought oh I'm gonna get to open the larger package but then I recalled that I'm opening them every second day so this one I will not be opening for a few days still and I didn't peek I want to peek, but I didn't peek, so I'm not sure what's in there. So that'll be exciting. Something to look forward to. Okay. Next, I will open a package from Sweet Nesting. Isn't that cute? She doesn't have these numbered, so I'm just choosing them randomly. Okay, 
sad. Something interesting. Ooh. Okay, I'm a sucker for pink and orange together. I don't think I wear pink and orange together, but I love the way pink and orange together looks. So cool. This is one that kind of goes with it. These two look really neat together. Fun. And then I am going to open my cosmetic advent calendar. I want to do this without bothering the dog. So this says L'Occitane Precious Cream. And I will have to read exactly what that means. Precious Cream. Must be some type of moisturizer, perhaps an eye moisturizer. Well, the instructions are on the back, but they are very tiny. Last but not least, my advent calendar from Toy Shirt oh. Box number five. Ooh, some candies. Celtic sea salt caramels. Okay. So one thing I wanted to share with you, actually, let me get a drink of coffee first. Something that I want to share with you that I, I thought was interesting. <laughs> I have been trying to declutter and organize my home over the past two years. It's a, it's a very slow process. Um, I often don't feel well enough to do it for a long period of time or at all. So when I get a few minutes, um, I will try to just spend 15 minutes and maybe just declutter one shelf or one drawer or whatever I can handle for that, that day. So yesterday I was, um, recycling some magazines and I didn't realize that in with my magazines I had this extremely old Vogue knitting magazine. I'm going to show it to you. This is the winter special from 1989-90. So that is 30, 31 years ago. That's crazy because I actually bought this magazine. If you look at the picture on the back, that's like such a quintessential 80s outfit with the big shoulders and the flowered skirt. But um, I actually can recall purchasing this magazine because I remembered, as I flipped through it, I remembered one of the patterns um, in the book was the reason that I had, that I purchased the magazine. So just to give some perspective though, I have not been knitting continuously for the past 30 years. I knit for a little while, um, about 30 years ago. Uh, did that for a couple years, kind of lost interest and did some other things. And just within the past year, I'm coming back to knitting again. So I was super excited to find this magazine and I did go through it and I marked some patterns because it's crazy how timeless some of the patterns are or how they are retro and kind of back in style. So this is the pattern that I originally had wanted to knit. It's marked as very easy, 
so the I don't know if they still label their patterns like this but back then they used to label the patterns very easy very vogue so this was the one I wanted to knit and I think I still want to knit this I think that's cute and I I think it I'll have to look at the pattern instructions but I think I might still want to knit that I also thought these were really nice um, vests are really coming back in style and that's really nice cabled vests and cabled cardigan there are a lot of a lot of really nice patterns I thought this one was a really nice man sweater timeless I don't think that would ever go out of style This um, Nordic pattern as well, I think it's very like retro, let's go to the ski chalet and hang out pattern. I think it's really cool. I'm interested in knitting that. I'll have to look at the instructions. Another vest. They actually have a pattern in here to knit a blazer, a very 80s style chunky square blazer, which is kind of funny. And then these two are absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you this one first. It's like a big cozy cabled sweatshirt with a hood long but you could always shorten it up to make it more modern and then there's this one which is absolutely stunning and i would still make that today i actually wish i had knit that 30 years ago because i would still be wearing it today beautiful anyways i thought that was kind of cool i think it would be a fun project to try and knit um some sweaters from a magazine that's 30 years old. I know a lot of people do retro knitting, but they go even maybe farther back to patterns from the 50s or the 30s or the 20s. Um, I think part of the challenge is going to be to see how the patterns were written and um, see if I'm capable of understanding, uh, like they may have had some different techniques to achieve the same results. Um, there may be some easier ways to do things now. I'm not sure. But anyways, I thought that that was fun to share with you guys. So I have a few things I need to do this afternoon. One big thing that I need to accomplish is I have to box up some of the things that I have decluttered the diabetes association is supposed to be picking up my boxes tomorrow my donation boxes i am a little bit concerned that the weather may prevent that but regardless um i do need to make sure those boxes are prepared and ready to go and i think it's also an opportunity to maybe do a little further decluttering and um perhaps uh thin out my my wardrobe a little bit from some of the things I don't wear be nice if some people could get some use out of it so I'd like to uh, prepare those donation boxes so that's on my agenda for this evening also probably watch a Christmas movie with the fam take care and I will check in with you tomorrow for vlogmas day six
donation boxes ready to go for tomorrow. I hope they don't get all full of snow.